Joseph is heading for Fayetteville, Arkansas, where he'll be confronted with the health problems he could face if he doesn't change his ways. It's not going to be uh, a walk in the park. I know that it's going to be quite difficult at times. Joseph is about to meet Boogie, a supersized internet blogger. Boogie to 988 coming at you. Through the power of the internet. I'm uh, 39 years old and I'm about 37 and a half stone. Boogie readily admits that he's addicted to food. Food is the center of my universe. Yeah, when I'm eating food, I'm thinking about the next thing I'm eating or thinking about the thing I'll eat after that. As a consequence of his weight, Boogie suffers from diabetes, high blood pressure and arthritis. The back pain is now constant. The knee pain is now constant. My weight is destroying just about every aspect of my life. It's literally killing me. Three years ago, Boogie met Des online. They're now engaged to be married. I try not to think about the consequences of things don't change. In about two weeks, I'm getting married. Even though I know that I'm going to be in pain that day, I also know that it's going to be the best day of my life. You look so handsome. Since meeting Des, Boogie has lost nearly three stone, but it's been a daily battle. My original goal was to be able to dance with my wife at our wedding, and I don't think I'm going to be capable of that. I'm going to feel lucky if I can stand through the 15-minute ceremony. It breaks my heart. So what will 22 and a half stone Joseph make of 37 and a half stone Boogie? Hey, nice to meet you. How you doing? John? Boogie. Boogie. Uh, no, yeah, no, yeah, nice to meet you. I've paired Joseph and Boogie because Joseph is really on a slippery slope downwards. His eating is completely out of control. Boogie, despite all the humor, he's really not happy. And I think he's just the man to tell Joseph not to slide any further down that slope. If you don't mind me asking, how much do you weigh and how much have you weighed? I am 37 and a half stone today, and my biggest was 42 and a half. Weight loss for me has been a real struggle, and I can only imagine it's a struggle for you two. You have to determine who you're going to be, and if you're going to be a man of size, own it. But I don't recommend it, man. My body is starting to fail, the arthritis. You have a chance here to stop yourself from beginning to die early. After hitting Joseph with the harsh reality of his health problems, Boogie wants to share the lighter side of his life. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Boogie to 988 coming at you live once again. Boogie makes his living from internet videos. He entertains over 750,000 followers with comedy sketches and observations of what it's like living with obesity. But putting himself online has also made him an easy target for abuse. I had a guy tell me, you're too fat to be on the internet. Kill yourself now, rather than die of a heart attack or a stroke. It's, it's, it's disgusting that people would even say that sort of stuff. I just can't believe how upbeat and funny he is. I think it's a, a coping mechanism and it's, it's a real eye-opener. I don't want to end up dying five years' time due to my weight being an issue. Coming up, Joseph gets a shocking glimpse of what his future could be. The rest of my life is not really worth living. Back home in the feeding clinic, Rebecca gets stuck in. It's not really a surprise he put on a lot of weight if he's eaten that regularly. And Dr. Christian gives Joseph some shock treatment. That is a month's worth of your cereal. It's disgusting. Thirty-six-year-old supersizer Joseph is a cereal snacker with a weakness for fast food. Weighing in at 22 and a half stone, he's nine stone overweight. So Dr. Christian has sent him to the USA to meet 37 and a half stone internet blogger Boogie to show him how he could end up if he doesn't curb his appetite. It's lunchtime and Boogie's taking Joseph to one of his favorite diners. Oh, wait till you see the problem they got in here. Trust me, it's awesome. Oh, brilliant. Meanwhile, Dr. Christian is on his way to pay them an unannounced visit. I've just driven past the diner where they're both sitting, so I'm going to get out and surprise them now. Bonding over food, Boogie's keen for Joseph to try one of the restaurant's speciality dishes. Processed meat wrapped in pancakes, fried and served with two eggs and maple syrup coming in at around 1,200 calories a dish. Uh, meat and sweet, mm. just the best feeling for me in the world. It's my favorite food. That's good, you have to try this. 
Oh, mm. it does taste so good, but you can tell that it's so bad for you. Mm -hmm. Here's your drink, sir. Water Brilliant. for you, Coke for you. Brilliant. Thank how you. are you doing? Yeah, good. <laughs> how are oh, you? Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know how good an influence you are when it comes to food, though, Boogie. I picked literally the worst thing on the menu. For me, food is not only a way to reward myself, but a way to punish myself. You know, food is the punctuation that I put at the end of every sentence in my life, you know? Dr. Christian wants to make sure that Joseph fully understands Boogie's health issues, so they head home for a serious chat. You want to see medical conditions? My basket of uh, medicine that I take every day just to get through the day is right here next to that fridge. So aspirin for pain, arthritis, but also thin in the blood. Blood thinner, yep. Ibuprofen. Pain medication? I'm in constant pain. Even now they're giving me steroid shots, cortisone, just to reduce the inflammation so that I can still walk. I wanted to show you what my legs look like. If I just push my finger into his leg like this, what I'm actually doing is squeezing fluid out. When I let go, I've left him a nice little dent in his leg. And there's something called lymphedema. His, his drainage systems to his legs are not really working properly. My quality of life is so poor. I mean, I'm very blessed with my job, and I'm very blessed with my fiance. But when it comes to being in pain all of the time, the rest of my life, no matter how short or long it is, is not really worth living. Are you noticing problems like this? Late at night when I'm in bed, I sometimes uh, get a lot of muscle pain in my legs, and it really does hurt. The things you're describing right now are exactly what I was experiencing. You can chug along quite nicely for quite a long time, ignoring all the little clues. But then when the problems start, they pile on thick and they pile on fast. So now, Joe, promise me you've got this. I've got this, man. I've got this. You prove to me that you can do this. You're proving that you, I can do this, OK? Your success is my success now. You owe this to me. I feel that kind of made it a wake-up call and made me see that, you know, this is my last chance to actually do something about my weight. That's what a lot of this journey is going to boil down to for you, is actually finally being honest with yourself. 